So yesterday, if the little thing that if you're watching on uh, television, the Blaze TV at the top of the hour, you always see, you're going behind the scenes of one of the biggest radio shows in America. And we always joke that, oh, wow, we're going behind the scenes. If it were actually behind the scenes yesterday, you would have seen me get a little frustrated with the people in Washington which is not usually, um, that's, not nothing, that's nothing new, but you would have seen me get a little um, testy with the people in Washington who are on our side because I couldn't get any of them to go on record yesterday on, um, on what happened in this private Senate meeting. There was a meeting that happened uh, last week where the GOP senators were called in. There were no aides. There's no staff members. This was just senators. And the guys that um, are our friends, Cruz, Mike Lee, these guys are, they're just not going to say, they're not going to do anything unethical. In fact, Mike had a long conversation with me yesterday, right before he went on the air to talk about something else. And I said, Mike, I... I want to know what's going on. And he said, Glenn, it's, I just feel that it is unethical for me to say it. And I'm not going to be, I'm just not going to do anything unethical. Do I want to? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. But it was a private meeting. That's the way it was set up. And we had quite a little argument about it, if you will. But in the end, I trust Mike and I trust that he is a good and ethical man and I'm not going to have him I'm not going to ask him to do something that goes against his conscience and against quite honestly I know he prays about it same thing with with Ted Cruz well yesterday as we're going through all of this somebody in my office gets a phone call from a guy who is not on our usual list of friends a guy who, if I gave you this name, you would say, well, he's not on our side. He's not like John McCain, but he's not necessarily somebody you think of as on your side. And I don't think this guy is, quite honestly, on our side. This guy is just disgusted by what happened. And is one of those guys who was sitting in this meeting, not saying anything, but watching everybody, and realizing, I think my friends, show me your friends, show me, I'll show you your future. I think my friends are not friends of the Republic, not friends of freedom of speech. Now, he gave me some information, and um, uh, I am not going to talk about how I, how I, I, I I just don't want to uh, Stu. <laughs> you want to help me here because I usually get into trouble in these points. This is usually what happens. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, I was concerned when you described this person to me that you may be uh, being fed false information or mm-hmm. uh, potentially. Uh, Information that's not completely accurate. And so I explained to him off air, Mm -hmm. um, confidentially, Mm -hmm. how we verified and everything else. Yes, he wouldn't give me the name of the person. Thank you for that. Right. But you did. But will you uh, verify without verifying that? Well, you don't need to go through the process of how you uh, tried to verify this information. But I I believe it was a uh, a process that, that that holds some credibility. Okay. So here's what happened. Um, as you know, I think Mike Lee and, uh, Ted Cruz, it may have just been Mike Lee last week, uh, were, um, was spoke out on a radio program, Hugh Hewitt, I believe it was on his program. And, um, he gave some details about what had happened at a meeting. He has now come back. He has not recanted that, but he has, uh, uh, now said it's just not worth the trouble to say all of that. It's not because it's going to take us off track of what our real goal is. And what our real goal is, is to get spending under control, to stop the progressive movement 
and to stop the implementation of uh, uh, Obamacare, which is going to destroy our economy. So what he said was that they were dressed down in a meeting and um, torn apart and humiliated. Let me give you the specific name and what was said now by one senator, and there were two that were the ringleaders, and so far I only have the name of one, but I believe I will have the name of the other, uh, hopefully by the end of the day. Here is uh, what happened. As they are all standing in there, they are told in uh, not so many words that they are on the wrong side that these people have been here for a very long time. And you new senators come in and you think you know it all. And if anyone is working with the Senate Conservatives Fund or Freedom Works, you're a traitor. Because the actual word used? The actual word was not traitor, and I'll get into it in a second. The actual word was not traitor. They couldn't remember the actual word. Um, They said, but that's what everybody heard. And that's what set this guy off, because he was like, yeah, you put him in their place. And then when he heard the word, and he doesn't remember what it was, um, but he translated it as traitor, and he was like, whoa, that's a little little strong. Remember, these are senators. And senators are always, you know, the good senator, my friend, said this was a bloodbath. This was very, very unlike anything senators do. In fact, I think I saw from the Hugh Hewitt transcript, I think I, um, I saw that Ted and Mike um, came out and said something at first because they said they're very comfortable um, if a tape ever came out. They're very comfortable with what they said but they know the American people would be very uncomfortable. Now, you would have to ask yourself, I wonder if there were any tapes being made. I wonder if there were any recording devices that were capturing this. I don't know. But boy, in today's world, I sure would be sweating up a storm. So this, uh, this senator, a senior senator, said that um, these guys are trying, Freedom Works and the Senate Conservative Fund are trying to destroy the Senate as they have worked hard to put it together. They are trying to destroy the Republican Party and that you're a traitor in so many words. Now another senator, who I don't have the name, another senator then stood up and said, I want you to know Freedom Works and the Senate Conservatives Fund worked hard to unseat me, and I want you to be very clear on this. If any of you take a dollar from either Freedom Works or the Senate Conservatives Fund, you're an enemy of mine. I think I know who that senator is. I think Pat knows, too. But it's pure speculation on who that is. But the one who wanted everybody to know that you're a traitor, his name is Senator Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell is coming out on television and being all pie-eyed, happy-faced. But Mitch McConnell is a ruthless ruthless, authoritarian leader of the GOP. So what I want to bring you is a message today, the same message I brought you last week, and that is it's time to defund the GOP. We've tried to play nice. We've tried to, we've tried to coerce. We've tried to, in a nice way, we've tried to, Uh, bring them along. We've tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. We've tried to do all of those things. They have announced themselves as superior. They have announced themselves as knowing more than what the people know. When new guys come in 
and they are fresh off the campaign trail. And they have been with the people. They're not wearing the fancy cufflinks that say the U.S. Senate. They're not, they're, not, they're not used to pumping their gas in the basement of the Capitol building. They haven't had a lifetime of being known as Senator. They're still known as Mike or Ted. They may even be a little uncomfortable with the title Senator. They don't, they don't get offended if somebody says, hey, Mitch, they don't look at you and say, I've worked really hard to get the name, uh, the, the title Senator. We've heard this before. Instead of saying, thank you, it's good to have reinforcements here. They will run on, we're against progressive uh, uh, policies. We're against an overbloated government. We're against Obamacare. They may run on those things, but they are definitely not against those things. They will not do what needs to be done. They will appear to be doing those things, but they will not be doing them. Know it as clear as day. Mitch McConnell is not, he is a member of the GOP. He is not a constitutionalist. He is not a guy that sees anybody who says, hey, I've been standing with my kids in a sign saying, hey, stop the taxes. Get the IRS under control. Do you you know why they haven't been having more hearings on the IRS? Do you want to know why they're not really investigating what the IRS is doing to the Tea Party? Because people like Mitch McConnell want that. They want the IRS to hassle the people who are against them in Washington, D.C. It's not just a democratic disease. It is a progressive disease. They want it. They need it. Because they will use it to destroy people. Now here's, here's the message I bring you today. If you actually care about the Constitution, there has to be a new party. And I am not interested in starting a third party. I'm not interested in anybody starting a third party. I'm interested in kicking the people out of the Republican Party and sending them over to the Democrats. Because there are some Democrats over there that don't agree with Maxine Waters. You go stand over there and you duke it out between you duke it out between Maxine Waters and you. You go ahead. You believe in big government. She believes in bigger government. Ooh, ooh. Thanks for the big difference in choice. We believe in a mean, lean government. We believe in one that actually lets people do what they do best. Create, be an entrepreneur, protect my freedom, don't take my freedom, win a war, don't start a war. Best thing you can do is today make a donation to the Senate Conservatives Fund, make a donation to Freedom Works. You can go to freedomworks.org and click the red contribute button in the upper right-hand corner, or you can call them at 888-564-6273. You make a vow today, I'm not giving any money to, I'm not giving any money to the GOP. I'm going to give it to the freedomworks.org, or I'm going to give it to Jim DeMint's Senate Conservative Fund. The SenateConservatives.com, SenateConservatives.com. Upper right-hand corner, you can click there, the Contribute button, or you can mail a check to the Senate Conservatives Fund, P.O. Box uh, 388, Alexandria, Virginia, 22313. But if these are the named enemies of the people like John McCain and Lindsey Graham and Mitch McConnell... Named by them as their nemesis, then I know everything I need to know. I know two things who to contribute to Freedom Works and the Senate Conservatives Fund, started by Jim DeMint. I got that one. 
And I also know the other, maybe more important thing. They're terrified. These guys just did something that hasn't been done. I'll bet you in I'll I'll bet you this hasn't been done in my lifetime. They just called all the senators in and they threatened them. And they actually said, if you have a differing opinion than mine, if you believe in the Constitution of the United States, you're an enemy. That's remarkable. They're terrified of you. As I have said before, you're about to win. Let's put them out of business. Everybody says, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? If you have any money and you're thinking about contributing to a, an election and you don't know who to give, make the commitment right now. Not a dime to the GOP. Remember, if you give it to the GOP, if you give it to the candidate you like, that money has to go in to the GOP general fund. They have to raise a certain amount of money before they get anything back. So all of the guys that we like, they have to go out and raise a whole bunch of money. They spend most of their time doing fundraisers. I'm sorry to my good friends. You're not going to get a check from me. I'm not going to help you raise money. I won't raise money for the GOP. I won't help you. I won't show up. I won't. I won't. Won't do it. Freedom Works, Jim DeMint, okay, I'll help them. You make a commitment today. The name of the senator, the first name of the senator that dressed him down is Mitch McConnell. A disgrace. Hopefully, hopefully tomorrow I'll give you the name of the second senator. I don't have it yet, but hopefully somebody else will. Come to the table. Mitch McConnell. Isn't he running again? Ah, That should be interesting.